Morning, boys and girls. Hope you've had a good week, those of you that were in school and then the others that are starting for the first time this week. It's just going to be a good year, I'm sure of it. Um, last week, we had a letter, we heard a, a lesson about a letter that Paul was writing to the Church of Corinth, which came from 1 Corinthians. And he was telling the people the way they needed to live, to live for Jesus. Because when we belong to Jesus, once we give our life, to, ourselves to Jesus and tell him we want him to come into our heart and take over our lives, we need to turn completely around and live a different type of life, the type that Jesus wants us to live. And we learn that nothing can take us away from God when we give ourselves to him. So sing this new hymn with me. I think you'll remember it from last week, but I've got the words here. So sing, sing along with me. Once I was lost in sin's degradation, Jesus came down to bring me salvation, lifted me up from sorrow and shame. Now I belong to him. Now I belong to Jesus. Jesus belongs to me. Not for the years of time alone, but for eternity. Yes, boys and girls, once we give our life to him, we belong to him for eternity, which is forever. Well, in our letter today, Paul is writing to a church in Thessalonica, and it comes from the book of Second Thessalonians, actually from three chapters, verses one, chapters one through three. And so one of the things that Paul is telling this, now last week he was trying to tell them how they needed to live uh, to follow Jesus because some of them were not living like they were supposed to. But in this letter, he's telling them how happy he is to hear a good report of them and how he is praying for them. But there's some people that are opposing the church that are being mean to the believers. And so Paul is telling them, but be strong. And so I want it. I, one of my favorite hymns is, Be strong in the Lord and be of good courage. Now, if you know it, sing it with me. But we'll sing it a second time for those that it's new, that this hymn is new for, okay? Be strong in the Lord and be of good courage. Your mighty defender is always the same. Mount up with wings as eagles ascending. Victory is sure when you call on his name. Be strong, be strong, be strong in the Lord and be of good courage for he is your guide be strong be strong be strong in the lord and rejoice for the victory is yours now what it means by the victory is yours remember we learned last week paul talked about how the christian life living for jesus is kind of like running a race we're trying to do what Jesus wants us to, but the reward is greater than any reward you'd win for a race on this earth because the reward is life with Jesus forever and ever. And he said, rejoice for the victory is yours. Jesus has already died and taken away our sins. And when we give his, our life to him, he'll help us and protect us. And one day we'll live with him. We're going to talk about that some more in a bit. But try to sing it with me this time, okay? Be strong in the Lord and be of good courage. Your mighty defender is always the same. Mount up with wings as the eagles ascending. Victory is sure when you call on his name. 
Be strong, be strong, be strong in the Lord, and be of good courage, for He is your guide. Be strong, be strong, be strong in the Lord, and rejoice, for the victory is yours. And that's what we're going to learn about this morning how that victory is ours. But before we um, have our lesson, let's ask God what he wants to teach us. Paul was writing a letter to the church at Thessalonica, but this church could be written, this letter could be written to our church right now, to our churches all over of the world right today. And um, the same message, and it has a message, an um, important message for us as well. So let's ask God to show us what he wants us to learn. Our hands we fold, our head we bow as we talk to God just now. Dear God, thank you for this letter that you put in your Bible so that we could learn from it. Thank you for Paul and his faithfulness to you to share what you wanted us to hear. And I just ask us to be good listeners to what you want to teach us. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, boys and girls, Paul had started that church in Thessalonica about 20 years after Jesus died and rose from the dead. But he couldn't stay there for a long time. He was moving on. God had him moving from one place to another. Remember, we've learned we had all that in a few lessons back a month ago of all the places that Paul was going to share the gospel because God wants everyone to hear the message. And so Paul had been traveling around. And so now Paul wants to encourage that church at Thessalonica. Um, he had heard that there were some people that were being uh, very um, um, cruel to the believers there. Even the, some of the people in the church were being hurt or killed because they believed in Jesus. But Paul did not want them to give up. Paul said, God will reward you in heaven for your suffering on this earth. Well, one of the things that the people were very confused about that Paul wanted to straighten out that he had heard. Now, Jesus had promised, and he's promised that to you and me as well, that he will return one day to set up his kingdom. And so, and we will all be a part of it, who are believers. But he, he has not come back yet. And at that time, he had not come back. And, but some people were saying he had. And so this is what Paul prayed for the people, um, told them. He said, nobody knows exactly when Jesus is coming back. But he wanted to encourage them. So he said, stand strong. Be of good courage. That's why we sang that hymn this morning. Stand strong in your faith. And then Paul prayed for them. And it's right here in this letter in Thessalonians. This is what it says. May our Lord Jesus Christ himself and God our Father encourage your hearts and strengthen you in every good work and deed. Word. He said, don't stop working. Keep sharing the gospel. He asked, and then he asked the believers to do something else. He said, I want you to keep working but he said i also have something else i want you to do pray for me pray for the other teachers and this is what he said pray that the lord's message may spread quickly and that we may be safe from people who are wicked and evil who do not believe paul knew that the lord is faithful and he trusted god to give him strength and to protect him just as God had done in the past. And finally, Paul had one more thing to tell the people. He gave them a warning. He said, some of you have not been working hard. You've not been doing what believers need to be doing, sharing God's word uh, or helping with the work around here. And so Paul said, um, this is what he told us right here in this letter to the uh, Thessalonians, and it's true for us in our church today. Do not grow weary in doing good. 
May the Lord of peace himself give you peace always in every way. The Lord be with all of you. Boys and girls, Jesus is the beginning, Alpha, and the end, Omega. And he is coming back one day, but that day has not come yet. And he wants us to be of good courage and continue to share the gospel, continue to help other people and do our part in working. And when Jesus returns, I want to be doing what, living for Jesus. I hope you do too. I want him to return and find me sharing the gospel, being kind and helping people, and doing exactly what his word has taught me to do. And I hope that's your prayer too. Because we don't know what day that will be, or what night, or what time. But we do know one thing for sure, that Jesus has promised to return. And remember, he's trustworthy. He always keeps his promises. So let's thank God for Jesus. And let's thank God that he has told us in his word exactly what he wants us to do while we're here waiting for his return. He's told us how he wants us to live. And let's study that word every day so we'll know what he wants us to do. That's why he gave us the Bible. The Bible is our guidebook. If you go on a trip, we used to would have a map. Now your mom and daddy will have a GPS. They will have their phone or some way of telling them how to get to where they're supposed to go. Well, our guidebook to heaven is the way Jesus wants us to live and what Jesus wants us to do. And that also guides us and tells us how to give our life to Jesus. And then after we give our life to Jesus, how to keep on living every day. Remember the green page in our wordless book, Grow in Grace and Knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. So once we ask Jesus to come into our heart, take over our life, clean us up, and make us worthy of, of serving him, then he shows us how to live. And then he wants us to keep on learning. And the way we keep on learning is to study his word. So you keep doing that every day. And I ask you, have you asked Jesus into your heart? Are you living for him every day? If not, talk to mom and dad. Talk to Pastor Ron about your next step to ask Jesus to come into your heart. Let's have our praise, praise time now. Our hands we fold, our head we bow as we talk to God just now. Dear God, I praise you that you are sovereign in control of all. You are our Savior. You died to save us from our sins. You are our provider. You provided a way for us to be saved. You are our protector. You're trustworthy. You have promised you will return one day. You are a promise keeper. You are Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. You are King of Kings and Lord of Lords. We could continue to praise you forever. But now, Lord, we want to thank you. We want to thank you that you loved us so much that you died to save us from our sins. For God so loved the world, he gave his only son to die on Calvary's tree from sin to set me free. Someday he's coming back. What glory that will be. Wonderful his love to me. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. Thank you, Lord, for making me whole. Thank you, Lord. 
for giving to me thy great salvation so rich and free well boys and girls remember the christian life is like running a race we're running toward jesus living for jesus every day and one day we'll live in the king his kingdom with him forever and ever if we have asked him into our heart and if you've not done that do it today talk to mom and dad talk to pastor ron about your next step have a wonderful week i love you god loves you even more